Greetings, everybody. How are you today? We are doing fine here at Merlin Community Baptist Church, and we are excited to get into this lesson today. Uh, first, before we get started, have a story to tell you. Very uh, scary story, actually. Happened last night about oh, 08 o'clock ish. <clears throat> Uh, we are in grouting our shower. Many of you know we're building our house and we are putting grout in the cracks of the tile and Sarah goes out to uh, get us a quick little snack and she was outside maybe 10 minutes earlier getting some clean water and she starts yelling fire 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 and Yep, there was a fire a quite a large fire um on the side of the road coming into our property the fire circle now i went out and measured it <clears throat> well i didn't measure it i just guessed by our fence posts um it was 40 by 30 circle or, or oval i guess and very scary and then so we grab the hoses and start running down there my mom's calling 911 already and the fire trucks show up but I, we had just got ours put out and we realized that there's other fires which was one on uh, the property next to us which is Sarah's sister's property it's just bare land and then there's one I believe down further and I believe there was one up towards town on Azalea Drive. So there was a total of four fires and they were all roughly about the same size. Uh, I'm not sure how they got started, but yikes, so matic. It was super scary. <clears throat> um, so it's good to be prepared during fire season. You know, just, just think about that today. Uh, yes, garden hoses uh, are amazing. and it helped put our fire out so and then of course that sparked uh, me wearing my t-shirt today you know Smokey the bear there protect our forests and what he say only you can prevent forest fire which also sparked <laughs> that's a fire joke I guess um, the title of today's message or talk whatever you want to call it and it is called only you can prevent eternal fire mmm my favorite okay we are going to I forgot to get my trusty Bible turn to the right page but let you uh, ruminate on the old uh, fire thing Matthew chapter 18 here we go everybody there get your Bibles Verses 7 and 8. <clears throat> Here we go. Verse 7. Woe to the world because of the things that cause people to stumble. Such things must come, but woe to the person through whom they come. 8. If your hand or your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away it is better for you to enter eternal life maimed or crippled than to have two hands and two feet and be thrown into eternal fire whoa <clears throat> eternal fire yikes scary fire is scary <clears throat> imagine that forever who no, thank you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you again that we can uh, hear your word via the internet. We thank you for this wonderful technology. Help us to uh, stay safe and to rid this COVID so that we may congregate uh, closer together and have our, our daily or our weekly worship sessions back in order. And yes, we love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> okay, so did anyone do you have any observations we see there? I had a couple. Um, this is uh, Jesus' uh, introducing 
or it's, it's more of an introduction to concerning offenses. Um, he's, Jesus is continuing his previous talk by uh, talking about people who cause offenses. And ob it's obviously, I mean, it is obvious that people uh, in Jesus' time were causing offenses uh, as they are today, right? <clears throat> Sorry, I had a, I ate some popcorn earlier and got a piece of chunk back there or something. Sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, yes, we know that people cause offenses today, but we see right here uh, God's judgment, which is very scary. And if it doesn't scare you, it definitely should scare you. Um, which we see right here. He says, woe, twice. Obviously something to pay attention to. Eternal fire. Fire again, eternally. Verse 8, something we should pay attention to. And the fire of hell, verse 9, which we didn't read. Also something to pay attention to. Well, uh, so, yeah. Whew. So he's talking about that's God's judgment that would fall on them, those that are, uh, um, uh, what am I trying to say, uh, causing, um, what, is it, what did I say, uh, or those that would be receiving God's judgment uh, because they are uh, causing offenses. There it is. Wow, sorry. Uh, I could not think of that. <clears throat> it would fall on them because they were not dealing with the very basic causes of sin, okay? Now, as you and I know, Jesus is not, and I repeat not, telling you to cut off one's hand, telling anyone to do that, or foot, or gouging your eye out in chapter 5, verse 29 and 30. And this, even if you did those things, which do not remove the problem, the, see, we have to realize that the problem is in the heart, not in my hand. He's, Jesus isn't saying, um, mutilate yourself. <clears throat> He's saying, it's, it's a, um, a, uh, not a contrast, but a dramatic uh, phrase to get you to think like, whoa, cut my arm off? What? It's, he's saying you must remove the offenses, the, the thing that's offending. You got to remove it. It's, it's that important. It's better to enter heaven with one less arm than to eternal fire with both arms. So, to keep from offending, we need a dramatic and strong change in our uh, offenses. We, we need a dramatic and strong uh, change. Our, they are necessary, these dramatic and strong changes. They need to, it's so like, ah, that dramatic, right? Uh, but more. Also, we see here that the uh, the disciples, um, which is a, a couple of verses before and a couple of verses after, uh, Jesus is talking about the little children, and so he's he's reminding his disciples um, what value the Lord has placed on these little ones. We see that again in verse chapter eighteen, verse six and fourteen. Um, and we, we know that all people are important to God, but right here he's indicating that the children are very important. And so it's a, a strong um, reprimand, I guess, a little bit. He's like, hey guys, come on, figure this out. Uh, and of course, then this leads us to today's shorter talk. Only you can prevent eternal fire. Eternal fire. 
You know, I encourage all of you that listen to this, if you've been struggling with your faith or considering your faith, uh, don't take my word for it. Pray, ask God to reveal to you his truth, and he will show you. It's, it's nothing I can say will save you. Nothing your grandma can do. She can't bake enough pies to save you. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, you know, you can't go to church and be saved. You can't, you can't even know the whole Bible and be saved. It's only by putting your trust and your faith in Jesus Christ who died on the cross for you. He died on the cross for me. He died for all humanity. All the fallen. Period. And so that's why I want to really encourage people today. It's only you. No, they can prevent your eternal fire. No one else. So think about that this week. If you've been struggling, uh, just give it a try. Pray. I mean, when was the last time you prayed to God to ask him for uh, uh, in, enlightenment and knowledge of him? And um, it says that uh, it will be kept kind of like a secret to those that uh, don't seek you must seek the Lord, and he will reveal to you the truth about who he is, what he's done, why he's done it, and what our responsibilities are after that, too. I mean, there's it's not just a, uh, a one-way street. So, let's pray. I know this is a little bit shorter video today, but I think the point was made. Only you can prevent eternal fire for your soul. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to think about what is to come. We know we are all travelers here, and we are just waiting um, for the the next step, Lord. And it's it's one way or the other, smoking or not smoking. So we ask that you guide our hearts in this decision. Give us that have been struggling uh, encouragement and give us the strength to um, even pray to you. I know sometimes that can be hard, and we, we thank you for all that you've done for us, even though we don't deserve it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, folks, remember, only you can prevent eternal fire. That's not a direct quote from Smokey the Bear, but it's really close. Uh, a couple updates real quick. If you have a kid in your area, or you are a kid, fifth grade and younger, stop by the church today, to, no, not today, on Tuesdays between 10 and noon, and you can pick up your Summer Salvation Surprise, which is an adaptation of our Vacation Bible School. Uh, we're not having that this year due to good old COVID. Yeah, COVID rules, yeah. No. And we have um, we're, we have three bags for you starting next week. We'll have August bag. So you'll have a lot of fun, lots of crafts, lots of stuff in it. It's a really great, uh, great thing just to have. You know, I'm sure a lot of you are bored at home. And if you are, just tell your parents we need the summer salvation surprises. Um, yep. And or if you have young ones in your neighborhood, please come by, pick them up, drop them off. It's a great opportunity just to say hi and, you know, six feet away with your mask on. Here's your bag. Set it outside. Put it in the freezer for two weeks. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> and uh, we even have for those, we even have uh, music CDs of each session. So come on down, pick them up. Uh, if you know anybody, come pick them up. We've had a couple people uh, already come and pick them up. Oh, and I wanted to do a quick shout out. I totally forgot earlier today and last uh, lesson last week. I had two individuals come up to me and do the fruit of the spirit. One was a six, seven year old. And I'm not sure the age of the other uh, young lady that... Um, did that as well. So, uh, what a great job, you two. Um, so cool to see that. That was pretty fun. Uh, that was uh, 
Autumn and Rachel. Good job, Autumn and Rachel. Good job. All right, have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time on The Price is Right. No, that's not it. Uh, oh, also, uh, sorry, and my daughter also, Lavender, is, uh, did them as well. Uh, sorry, Lavender, I forgot to mention you there. Uh, not The Price is Right, but God is right. God is good. God is good all the time. Have a great day. Bye.